Hello and welcome to our online events. I'm Miss Gaspar. I'm the Head of Year 8. I'm working with your child this year alongside my tutor team. We've had a really brilliant start to the year so far. It's been lovely to meet all your children and I'm really proud of all of them. In this video, I'll introduce you to the rest of the team. I'll share with you some information about our value and ethos and ways that you can support your child and their learning at home. Congratulations to Gabriel, Lemmy, Ishmael and Ben. These pupils demonstrated quick thinking when they came to remember the public's aid. In addition to being your child's head of year, I'm also an English teacher here at Heathcote. I've been a head of year at two schools and I've worked in the borough since 2006. These items are addressed in the presentation. Please go through them in a way that's convenient for you and feel free to stop and discuss in more detail with your child at any point. I'm really lucky to have a team of fabulous tutors working alongside me this year to support your child. You can contact your tutors either via email or by calling the school office and asking them for by name. They can usually support you with lots of things and if they're not able to support you with your particular needs, they can contact someone in the school who can. We want our Year 8 students to work hard and be kind. We want them to be knowledgeable to gain knowledge and understanding and skills from their experiences at Heathcote. We want them to be inspirational, to motivate themselves and others to be the best versions of themselves. We want them to be nurturing, nurturing in their approach, caring in order to build up positive relationships and to ensure our school is a safe place for all. And finally, we want them to be driven to be resilient pupils who are driven by their ambition. So in year eight, we strive to work hard and to be kind. Year eight have been creating kindness pledges to promote our ethos of work hard, be kind. For example, eight one agree they will show kindness and respect to each other by remembering to say please and thank you. Eight three pledge to say hi, good morning, how are you to at least five people per day. And eight five, pledge to be kinder and more respectful to each other and to teachers and staff and to apologise when they do something wrong. Pupils also promoted with some create this, this ethos with some creative and colourful posters to display their pledges around the school. In particular, I'd like to say well done to Nelly, Brooke, Rian, Mathery and Zainep who have won our poster competition. Hi, my name is Miss Mahmood. I am science teacher and my subject specialism is biology. I am form tutor for 8-1. I am based in room 8103 when not teaching. My message is be kind and do your best. Hello, my name is Dr. Choi. Uh, you spell it Dr. T-S-U-I. And um, I am the form tutor of uh, 8-2 together with Ms. Ahmed. And um, this is just a short introduction of who I am. So I originally come from Poland and I'm a chemistry and science teacher. Uh, I'm also joint head of science department together with Ms. Faria. So um, students can uh, normally find me in the science department. Uh, I'm studying Japanese and I also run Japanese club in the school. So you can see a quick advert here for my club. And the students who study Japanese sometimes call me Choi Sensei. Uh, which means uh, Dr. Choi in Japanese. Uh, I can also speak some Russian, French and a little Korean, which students find uh, fascinating. Uh, I'm very passionate about chemistry, which is the subject that I teach um, at Key Stage 5 at A-level. And um, I'm sorry I have not spent more time with the Year 8 students as a tutor, and this is because of the timetable. I do hope I can see um, more of them in the future. And this is a short message to the students in the year eight. Enjoy your holidays and do well in your studies next term. Uh, if you wanted to know how to say uh, Merry Christmas in Japanese, it's very easy. It's you say Merry Christmas and um, do well in your studies in Japanese is Gambate. Uh, so thank you very much um, for your attention. 
Hi there, my name is Miss Ahmed. I'm a co-tutor for your child's form 8.2 at Heathcote. I'm a science teacher with a specialism in biology, but I also teach chemistry and physics. I'm new to Heathcote, having started in September, and I love it here. The students are amazing. I can be found in laboratory H137, but if you have any concerns, it's probably best to email me using the email address provided on the PowerPoint. I'm hoping to spend more fun time with your child and help them to develop into a positive and consistent pupil during their time at Heathcote. I hope they feel supported and when I see them in the corridors I always say hi and make myself known to them. But if you have any concerns please, please as I said feel free to contact me. In the science department we're planning to restart our science club so hopefully I'll see some of my form pupils there as well. Uh, I would like to give some praises as well to some of our students. So looking at data, I can see that we have some students who have been performing really well in getting those praise points uh, in their classes. So well done to Daniel, Janae, Ishra and Tasia. And I hope it inspires the rest of 8.2 to do as well as you have. Hi, my name's Mr French and I'm one of 8.3's form tutors here at Heathcote. Uh, I'm relatively new to the school, so I only joined in, in September. Uh, I've been really impressed with 8.3's mature approach to tutor time discussions, but also when I've been into their lessons, how focused and motivated they are to learn. Hi, my name is Mr Mungsfield. I'm a specialist teacher at Heathcote School. I've now been here for nearly over 15 years. I'm actually a previous student here. I left in 98 and uh, we've currently got four deaf students in uh, eight three, which I'm very proud of and as a class collectively I've looked at the current uh, challenge week data and our students eight three have done ex exceptionally well. Hi this is Miss Lee and I co-tutor eight four with Miss Farrier. Now just a quick introduction about myself I'm a science teacher I'm Vietnamese and I was born and bred in East London when I was at university, I did two research projects on diabetes, so I might talk to you a lot if I teach you um, this topic. Uh, I have previously worked as a, a nail salon manager for a number of years and as cabin crew for British Airways. So please feel free to come to me if you want to discuss about future pathways. Um, I've also actually worked in two Japanese kitchens, uh, Rolling Sushi, and you might recognize these companies. They're called Yosushi and Itsu. So for those of you that are interested in catering, I don't mind to talk to you about this either. I'm terribly sorry that we've not had much time to get to know each other more, 8-4, and I hope this will change soon. I just want to say a big well done for trying your best during these unusual times, and hopefully the new normal will come soon. I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year and look forward to seeing you when you come back. Hi 8-4, it's Miss Lee and as you know I co to your form group with Miss Farrier. Now because of the pandemic we never actually had the chance to bond properly so I just thought let me give you a better introduction to myself. I'm a science teacher, I'm Vietnamese and I was born and bred in East London and I'm still here. Uh, so when I was at university, I did two research projects on diabetes and because of this, I might talk to you a lot if I teach you this topic, so just watch out. I've previously worked and managed nail salons for a number of years and I, as well as that, I was cabin crew for a little while with British Airways. So for those of you that would like to discuss future career pathways, feel free to come to me when it's safe to do so. I've also worked in two Japanese kitchens rolling sushi and you might recognize the names, Yosushi and Itsu. So for those of you that like catering, like baking, and think that this could be a career pathway for you, feel free to come and talk to me too. Um, I'm so sorry that we've not actually had the time to get to know each other more. I really hope that this will change soon. I just want to say a big well done for trying your best during these unusual times, and hopefully the new normal will come soon. I really hope you all have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year. And I look forward to seeing you back in January. Bye. Hi, this is Miss Faria. I am one of the uh, form tutors for 84 together with Miss Lee. I'm also a science teacher and I have been in the school for a long time, since 2007. My specialism is biology and I am also currently one of the heads of science.
Hi, my name is Miss Saman. Hi, I'm Miss Hodges. And together we are the form tutors for 8-5. It has been lovely to hear lots of positive things from your teachers. A special well done to Lily, Lucy and Ergi for achieving the highest praise points in our form. Keep, Keep up, up the great, great work, 8-5. Hello, I'm Miss Reaver, Head of Creative Arts and Form Tutor for 8-6 here at Heathcote School and Science College. I'm very excited to be working with 8-6 this year. They're a fantastic tutor group. We've got some pupils who are doing exceptionally well, who are leading the front with praise points, and that's Bobby in first place and Rebecca in second place. So keep on working hard, 8-6. If you need anything throughout the year, please don't hesitate to email me. I have contacted you all with my email and also, if the pupils need to find me, I usually teach in the hall. And if not, there is an office next to H22 where 86 have their drama lesson, which is H21. I'm usually free during their drama lesson, so if that's the best time, I can come in and speak to the pupils. But please let me know if there's anything you can, I can do for you, or if you need any further support. I have been a previous SENCO, so if you have any SND concerns, please send them to me in the first instance, and I can raise them with Miss Gardner. Have a wonderful day. Hello, this is a message from Miss Kraku and Dr. Barad. Would like to take this opportunity to say it's been fantastic to see all of our tutees back with us at school. You're doing very well managing with the changes whilst we work together to keep each other safe. You have shown strength and resilience. Let's keep this up. I'd like to also introduce you to our wider team in school. Miss Hillman, the head teacher, the senior leadership team, Mr Abbott, Miss Close, Mr Hutchins, Mr Gallacher, Miss Elmy and Miss Agarakis. Mr Abbott and Mr Gallacher um, lead the quality of education team. Miss Close leads the behaviour team. Mr Hutchins is the safeguarding lead. Miss Elmy is responsible for pupil people leadership and parental engagement. And Ms Agarakis is responsible for data and progress. So you may have contact with all of these people during your child's time at Heathcote. There's also the SEND leadership led by Miss Gardner, our SENCO, and Miss Smith, assistant SENCO. The pastoral support team is led by Miss Austin. Mr Travis is responsible for um, punctuality and he may be in contact with you if your child is late for school and he runs those detentions. Miss Walden is our home school worker. She runs... Um, the detentions for uniform or equipment and she's also in charge of midterm admissions. Miss Blackwood, um, she works in the IU, she's a manager of the IU and she might be in contact with you if your child does get referred to the IU and you probably receive an email from her and perhaps a phone call. She also puts pupils on report um, if they have a number of IU referrals in the same half term. Hi, my name is Miss Elmi and I'm the assistant head here at Heathcote and also the Year 8 SLT Link. I joined here just in September, having worked in my previous school for over eight years. And boy, what a time to join a new school in the middle of a pandemic. 
The Heathcote community have been extremely welcoming and it's been a pleasure working closely with Year 8. Over the last four months, I've seen Year 8 pupils show great resilience and fortitude. There have been challenges along the way, but pupils have truly rose to each of those challenges and overcome them with great grit. There have been many successes and pupils have continued to really work hard. And as the new year approaches, I want to encourage every Year 8 pupil to work hard and be kind. And I look forward to working closely with each of you to ensure that Year 8 pupils not just succeed, but also thrive and are happy along the way. So I look forward to meeting you all one day in person. And until then, thank you for your time. A knowledge organiser is a set of key facts or information that pupils need to know and be able to recall in order to master a unit or topic. Typically, an organiser fits into one page of A4. This helps pupils to visualise the layout of the page, which in turn helps them to memorise the information better. The secret to success is to regularly visit the knowledge to be learned, known as space to retrieval. This helps transfer the knowledge from the short-time memory into the long-term memory. This not only helps to make the learning stick, but it also frees up our short-term memory for day-to-day -day learning and experiences. Year 8 parents can support by ensuring that their child completes the pre-reading for all their subjects. Pre-reading is found in the knowledge organisers. Encourage your child to be inquisitive and be proactive in researching elements of a unit of work um, or project prior to it commencing. Parents can support by doing weekly and monthly checks of the knowledge organisers to check that they are neat and looked after. Is your child taking care of theirs? Do they engage with the revision tasks? Are they taking their time completing projects and home learning? Encourage discussions and dialogue at home. People should be able to answer questions. And where possible, do not settle for one-word answers. Familiarise yourself with what it is your child is learning. The website has all the curriculum pathway details in addition to the details on all subjects and knowledge organisers. Challenge week is a designated period for people to undertake their summative assessments. Encourage continual revision ahead of these assessments and support the learning at home by ensuring pupils are organised and ready for assessments. Year 8 break and lunch expectations. Um, break time for year 8 is from 10 past 10 until 10.30. Uh, this is the time when students go to the toilet and sanitize their hands. Uh, they go straight to the designated play areas and their playtime is on the outside. They don't have any space inside. Uh, there is no food sold during break time. Uh, the students can eat any snacks that they have brought from home in their designated area. They need to make sure that all the rubbish is put in the bins. Lunchtime for year eight is between 11.50 and 12.20. Students first go to the toilet 
and they wash their hands with hot water and soap. Uh, all food is to be eaten in the dining hall. And then after the lunch, students move to the designated play areas for the rest of the time of the break. And this is where they wait to be dismissed to their lessons after lunch. Uh, students are required to bring a water bottle with them to school and they only allowed to use the year group water fountain um, to fill up the water bottle during the day. They can only do that uh, during their break and lunch. They cannot be um, allowed out of the lesson. Uh, there are certain playground expectations in terms of the student behavior. Uh, the students are expected to go straight to the designated play area, which is the tennis court area, the lower cage. They are required to stay in that area until they are dismissed. This is so they don't mix with other year groups. Uh, there is no physical contact um, allowed for the students during the playtime. And uh, they are asked not to stand in big groups. They can have a chat with the um, small group but not in big groups. And they are asked to maintain social distance as much as possible. Uh, in terms of the toilets, uh, toilets are only open and at break and at lunch. So that means the students are not allowed to visit the toilet any other time during the school day. Uh, if there is an emergency, the students would need to go to medical room instead. And if their visit to the medical room requires visit to the toilet as well, that is arranged. Uh, there are no passes for the toilet and only some medical passes for selected students. These passes are purple in colour. Attendance and punctuality for year eight is very important. A reminder, their start time is 8.40am and they must enter through the Whitehall Road entrance and please make sure they are punctual for this. Lessons are also very important, especially for Year 8. Pupils are dismissed as a tutor group from lineup and must ensure that they stay with their tutor group and attend all lessons on time. If they are late, to the morning or any lessons, this is recorded by teachers and pupils will attend a late attention for 30 minutes from 40.40 p.m. to 15.10 p.m. Attendance must remain at 94% or above and COVID-19 isolation does not affect attendance. Please remember this. If your pupil's attendance has dropped below 94%, Ms. Gasper and their tutor are monitoring this and will have put a support plan in place to ensure that this can improve. Please encourage your child to be as resilient as possible and to attend schools at all times. If your child is unwell at school, we will make the decision to send them home as an authorised absence. If your child is ill before school, please contact the pupil absence line. Attendance to all Google Classroom lessons if your pupil is isolated in year eight is mandatory and pupils should be completing work from home to ensure that there are no gaps in knowledge. Here you can see the attendance for all tutor groups in year eight. Well done to those who are above the 94% mark in 84, 86 and 87 with 86 leading at the front. If you have pupils in 83 and 85 Please make sure they are working hard to make sure that attendance is above 94%, and especially those with pupils in 8.1 and 8.2. We really need to push those tutor groups to ensure that they are up to 94% and above for the remainder of the year, if not 100%. If you do have any concerns about illness, please ring the pupil absence line at Heathcote School and Science College. Google Classroom and its importance. Pupils should log in to Google Classroom on time. Pupils' camera should be on. Parents should not be present during live lessons. Pupils should check their Google Classroom for classwork and homework. Please contact Assistant Head Teacher, Mr. Gallacher, if there are any queries. Uniform expectations. All pupils must wear at all times. A black blazer with a Heathcote badge, ironed on or sewn in. A plain white shirt with a collar and it must be tucked in. 
Any clothing worn under shirt must be white. A school tie with the year group colours, with a minimum of five bars of the stripe showing. Black school style trousers, not tight fitting. Knee length skirt or full length skirt. Black leather or leather look school shoes. This includes a trainer style, but must be leather or leather look. White or black ankle knee length socks or tights. Uniform expectations, year group tie colours 2021. Pupil uh, to keep ties their time at his coat. Year eights are yellow. Optional. School styled black V neck jumpers. Muslim girls may wear plain black or navy blue hijabs. For other pupils, hair accessories should be plain white, navy blue or black. Sikh boys may wear traditional turbans. Please note, belts, hairbands and other accessories must be plain and in school colours. Boots must be worn to school in ba uh, ba uh, bad weather but must be changed for school shoes on arrival at school. Waterproof coats and hats should be worn to and from school during cooler and wetter months and should be uh, plain coloured and sensible. This is more important than ever during the recovery curriculum period as there will be more exposure to outside areas. Hairstyles should be suitable, formal, formal. significant hair colours or shavings of hair, including pattern, is not permitted. Hair accessories should be plain and simple. Bands and ribbon should be black or white. Bandanas are not allowed. Light makeup is permitted. Nail polish or acrylic nails are not permitted. One discrete item of jewellery per student may be worn, i.e. one small pair of plain gold, silver or dummet stud earring. Ear earring must only be worn in an uh, earlobe. No other piercing is permitted. Watches are encouraged. A large formal school uh, bag is compulsory, a big enough to carry A4 books. PE kit. School navy polo shirt is compulsory, as are the navy blue shorts. These both have the Heathcote logo. Navy style football style socks are compulsory also. Navy blue tracksuit top and bottoms. School navy blue leggings. School navy blue sweatshirt. Black or white trainers. These need to have a non-marking sole to protect our sports hall floor. And a towel, especially if the weather is poor. Drama kit, drama socks with a gripped sole. All of the equipment and kit above is available from Speed Stitch, which is based in Walthamstow. So these are our expectations for Eastcote students. We expect all Eastcote students to be punctual, organized and ready to learn. We expect them to wear their uniform with pride to follow staff instructions without questions or delay, to be polite, kind, respectful and tolerant of all, all the times, to keep their hands, feet and objects to themselves and to take responsibility for their own learning. This is because we believe that all pupils deserve disruption-free learning every minute of every day. Our behaviour policy um, describes our aims for students' behaviour and as you can see, we aim to ensure that every pupil is well educated, is able to attend university or access ambitious work choices and lead a happy and fulfilled life once they leave the school. We believe that in order to achieve this, pupils have to work hard and act with integrity at all times. Our behaviour policy aims to help pupils to change any behaviours that don't lead to success so that positive behaviours become good habits which in time become part of their character. In terms of how this works in the classroom, we have a three warning system where whenever a student does not meet the expectations for classroom behaviour, they will receive a warning from their teacher, a formal warning, that they need to change that. And if they persist in not meeting expectations, they will then receive a second warning. And finally, if they still insist on this, they will then be 
receiving a third warning, which will then lead to removal to the IEU, which is the internal exclusion unit, where they will remain for the duration of that lesson. Um, this is followed up with a detention, a centralized detention, which takes place once a week for every subject in the canteen. And during that detention, the, the pupil will have a chance to, to discuss their behavior with the uh, teacher that made the referral with a view to avoid that situation in the future. Thank you. Detentions continued. Centralized detentions. Centralized detentions can be given for the following list. Lateness, truancy of a lesson, banned items, inappropriate corridor behavior, um, third occasions of not bringing equipment, uniform or second time of PE kit, wearing the hoodies, caps or hats, using phones or having earphones, not bringing equipment, incorrect uniform or jewellery, makeup, nails, failing to attend a department or head of year detention and talking in lineup. IEU referrals. If your child has been sent to the IEU during the day, it will be followed up with a subject specific detention after school. You will be notified regarding this. The subject detentions are on the following days. For Monday, it's science and ENT. On Tuesday, non-specific subject behaviour and also head of year referrals. So this could be corridor behaviour or playground behaviour. Wednesday, it's maths and English. Thursday, humanities and enterprise. And Friday, MFL and creative arts. For detentions, detentions are for 30 minutes. Parents will be informed, but the pupils will be expected to attend. This is an opportunity for the pupils to reflect on their choices. Teachers will be present for restorative talks. Parents' cooperation is appreciated on these matters, and it helps to instill a positive decision-making for the pupil. Further details may be found on the school's website in the policies section. This is our school's newsletter, Heath Notes. It is issued once a week and details any upcoming information you need to be aware of. We also share our pupils' achievements both in and outside of school. This is a general format of Heath Notes. It will have a message from our head teacher and will inform you of any important updates, including which week we will be following and any upcoming events and reminders. You can also find information on extracurricular activities such as Japanese Club and STEM Club on there too. We'd like to draw your attention to the Head of Year News where specific announcements related to our year group can be found. These are some examples. Please make sure you read this and if you have any queries related to those announcements, please don't hesitate to contact Miss Gaspar. Anxiety is a feeling of worry or fear that is experienced as a combination of physical sensation, thoughts and feelings. Most people feel anxious from time to time but this may be heightened by the current situation as our normal routines have been disrupted. Let's reassure our young people that this is a normal feeling and that there are strategies that they can use to help them get through this time. Here are some suggestions of how parents and guardians can support our young people at home in this time. Here are some suggestions of some external agencies that can help our young people through this time. With the current situation and restrictions, we are spending more and more time on social media. Although this provides relief for us, it is important that our young people and their parents and guardians are aware of the challenges that comes with it. Cyberbullying is a form of bullying or harassment using electronic means. It has become increasingly common, especially amongst teenagers. Here are some points on how to manage it. Please speak with your young person to make sure that they are aware of how to stay safe online and in particular in chat rooms. It is important that they do not give out their personal information or arrange to meet up with anyone they meet online. 
The use of the internet has become part of our lives these days. Please discuss how to use the internet safely. Here are some pointers. The target grades for pupils in years seven to nine are set using Fisher Family Trust estimates and are targets for the end of year 11. They are FFT20 estimates that are created using the performance achieved by similar pupils in previous years. Similar pupils are those with the same gender, month of birth and key stage two scores or CAT scores for this year's current year seven. At Key Stage 3, we work out if a pupil is on track to meet their Year 11 targets by taking their Challenge Week assessment scores and ranking them against the rest of the year group to create grade boundaries. This is then compared to their targets to say if the pupil is on, below or above in that subject. In addition to this, pupils will receive an effort grade and a homework grade. Hi, I'm Miss Burnett and I work in the careers team at Heathcote. This presentation is just to give you a little bit of information about the careers programme at Heathcote. Um, and it's a programme of events tailored to each stage of our pupils' learning journey. So that's from year seven when they join us and they start to think about careers and skills needed in the wo world of work and just just getting to know those ideas all the way through to years 12 and 13 when they may be making choices about employment, apprenticeships or going off to university. So in addition to careers education in the classroom, we also offer a number of other opportunities to our pupils. This includes one-to-one -one, um, information advice and guidance sessions, access to work experience placements, information about apprenticeships, um, industry insight day, so the opportunity to meet with employers um, and find out about specific industries and job roles, um, further and higher education taster days, um, open days at universities. We also link up with employers and unis to offer mentoring schemes and we can help with applications. So be that for university or for sixth form or even job applications, we can help um, pupils to um, develop their employability skills and um, practice interview techniques. So this diagram kind of shows you a bit more clearly the different stages of education and the different levels of qualification. So you can see within secondary education you've got your GCSEs up in the sort of top left hand side and then below that you've got further education so that's college, sixth form um, and intermediate and advanced apprenticeships up to level three. Um, moving over onto the right hand side level four through to level eight this is your higher education so um, um, university routes and higher rates higher level and degree level apprenticeships as an alternative to um, full-time university. So here I've just given you some tips. Um, these are the kind of conversations that we'll have in the one-to-one -one sessions with pupils. Um, if they know what they want to do, then it's really good just to kind of, you know, draw out of them some more information about that. What do they know about sort of the pathway that they're they would like to take have they looked at the skill sets required and what qualifications they need are they clear on you know what the role entails what they'll be earning what sort of hours they'll need to do and the working conditions um, and also kind of how realistic is it um, in terms of the job opportunities are are there lots of jobs out there in their chosen field or is it a dying kind of industry you know things are moving towards more automation um, um, so is it is it a job that's going to be affected by the future world of work? Um, if they don't know what they want to do, then that's fine. Um, it's all right not to know at this age exactly what they want to do. That's perfectly fine. Um, but what we would do is encourage self-awareness here. So we would get them to think about their 
own strengths and their interests and their qualities what are they good at um, what do they feel passionate about what would be important to them in a potential career do they want to travel etc um, how does it link to their subjects what subjects do they enjoy and why are their job roles linked to that that they can take that further um, and then hobbies and interest what what do they do outside what do they love what gets them up and gets them uh, motivated can they link that to the potential sort of pathways of, of work and career ideas so i hope this presentation's been helpful and it's given you a bit of an overview into the work we do in school and um, this last page you've got my contact email address on here um, feel free to contact me with any questions relating to careers or progression or work experience etc um, you can check the careers bulletins that are sent out on google classroom and parent mail the sign up codes are on this screen for pupils to sign up to the google classrooms if they haven't done that already please get them to do so and then at the bottom there's just you know these are the most used go-to websites that i use in sessions with students i thought i'd share them with you um they're quite user friendly and there's loads of information on there thanks for listening